the all-ticket, all-seated crowd of 22,000 inside Portman Road includes the man whose goal won the cup when Ipswich beat Arsenal at Wembley in 1978. Roger Osborne, 43 next Tuesday, still plays local football. But there's one survivor from that final, 15 years ago, who's in the thick of the action this afternoon, 35-year-old John Walk, who takes his place in what now looks like a full-strength Ipswich lineup. Jason Dazelle and Chris Kiwomia have recovered from thigh strains. Gavin Johnson passed a late test on a back injury. But at number nine, Phil Whelan is brought into the defence, maybe to help combat the pace of Ian Wright. That would be the thinking of Mick McGibbon and John Lyle, the management team, who agreed new contracts with the club this week. Well, it's also been a busy week for Arsenal, but their injuries have cleared up too. Tony Adams is back, and so is Alan Smith. Paul Davis keeps his place in midfield, and there's a spot in the starting lineup too for number seven, Jimmy Carter. At number five there, Andrew Linegan, as his family call him, is up against his younger brother, David Linegan, the Ipswich captain. Both began their careers with their hometown club, Hartlepool. Alan Wilkie of Chesterley Street is the man in charge, and a huge roar goes up as this sixth round tie starts. Ipswich, blue and white, playing from the right. Arsenal in a variety of yellow and black, playing from the left. That was Ian Wright. And lots of tactical thinking has gone into the selections here today on the part of both managers. And already, number 11, Morrow, seemed to be picking up Dazelle there in midfield. They haven't met in the FA Cup since that day at Wembley. Indeed, it was the only meeting in this competition between Ipswich and Arsenal. Number eight is Genchev, the Bulgarian. Now, Winterburn. And uh, Whelan not far away from Wright, and Morrow very close to Dazelle. This is Stockwell. Genchev down the right, number eight. Cut out by Winterburn, but not then. Was by Adams. This is uh, David Linnigan lifting it towards Dazelle. Nice header back. Oh, what a good shot by Thompson. And with the right foot as well. Neil Thompson, normally so strong on the left side, he picked that one up beautifully. It's a Dazelle flick back. And that was rising, but only just over. Good effort here, and Dazelle, an important part of the build-up there for Ipswich. Here's David Linigan for Ipswich. Andy Linigan with Genshev, it runs loose, Kiwomia. Taking on Davis, and... Try goes up from the crowd, but not from the players. Nothing given. Williams. Well, it was a, a pacey run by Kiwomia and a somewhat risky challenge by Davis right on the corner of the box. Outside, in fact, when he uh, went for the ball. That is a foul. That's uh, Andy Linigan on Johnson. It's Thompson with the free kick. David Linigan coming in there. Genchev! And Arsenal was struggling. Adams got them out of jail there. Because two defenders didn't know where the ball had gone. And Genchev unable to take advantage. They just got to him. Thompson with the throw. Here comes Stockwell. And offside, Johnson. of, uh, of uh, Genchev in there, almost feeding off a good bit of play by David Linigan. Here's Dazelle, and this is Kawamia. Dazelle again. 
This is Johnson. Genshev coming in and uh, Andy Linigan heads out, corner. Whelan taking up the position nearest the kicker by the post. Kiwonga's in there and John Walk jumping here. Oh, what a scramble. And off the line. And in, in, yes. I think it's Kiwonga. I think it's Kiwonga that got it. It was a right old scramble. But it puts her in the lead. 16 minutes gone and Arsenal had bodies in there. But they couldn't stop the ball going in. Gunchev takes the corner. And it's John Walk here with Seaman on the ground who jumps first. There are five yellow shirts. Somehow they get it away from Whelan. Dazel off the line again there by two players, including the goalkeeper. Kiwamia under the bar. And Ipswich take the lead. 16 minutes. Well, that makes it 1-0 as it was all those years ago at Wembley. But will it stay that way today, I wonder? goes Whelan this is Merson and it's his cross Alan Smith good effort by Smith Wright couldn't quite get the rebound in Dixon good save by Baker Merson again and this is Winterburn for Arsenal Danger here, Wright's in there, on a corner. And Wright just reacting slightly in there with Linigan, but I think it's all been uh, calmed down. And Arsenal now trying to do what Ipswich did, score from a left-wing corner. Adams is in there, so is Linigan. Adams with the goalkeeper, Johnson a half away. Thompson. Smith very close there to an immediate equaliser for Arsenal. It looked to me like a good save. Kiwomia now with Linigan. And Johnson up in support here. Square is Genshev number eight. And it's come off Dixon and safely to Seaman. And again it was Kiwomia who was very much the threat to Arsenal. Morrow. Smith, Winterberg, Merson. Free kick, David Linigan on Smith. And Arsenal coming back into the game now with uh, 28 minutes gone, looking for the equaliser. And Merson is shaping up to take this one. got it all wrong and Adams equalised for Arsenal he stole away there from David Linigan and punted the header inside the post and what a cup tie we have here now one each Arsenal had come back well in the last 10 minutes and Ipswich had it all to do again Adams after another troubled week is the man who's frankly been Arsenal's strongest player in this opening half hour Stockwell in fact it's a while since Adam scored I think it's nearly a year ago that he last uh, got an Arsenal goal but what a timely moment for the captain on his return to the side to score his first goal of the season
and the Arsenal fans who have been able to travel, just about 2,000 of them maximum, certainly making themselves heard in the ground now, and I'm sure they probably are inside Highbury as well, watching it on the, on the closed-circuit screens. This is Dixon. first half and I wouldn't think there's much of that Merson in fact there's no stoppage time to speak of because this match has been unabated Kiwamia gave Ipswich the lead in a very good opening period after the Zell shot had been scrambled away and then Arsenal equalized through Tony Adams and at half time it's Ipswich Town 1, Arsenal 1. Well, those who know their local history in Suffolk will tell you that if it wasn't for Arsenal, Ipswich might never have been a professional football club. It was really the relationship between two famous families, the Hillwoods and the Cobbolds, that started it all here in the 30s. Here's Johnson. Williams, as Ipswich seek to make the start to the second half that they made to the first. Important for them today, winners of only one of their last seven games. This is Thompson, Kiwamia, Genchev trying to flick it on. And that's Williams with the shot. Now Geraint Williams, who's still looking for his first goal since he became Ipswich's Record signing from Derby, £650,000 last summer. Tomorrow, and that's right, and here's Smith. Oh, and it's right again, he got in there! And lofted the volley just over the bar. But we've seen him put those away this season, and that was the first time that Ipswich have really lost track of Ian Wright in this game. He gets the other side of David Linnigan, and on another day that might have dipped in. Here's Cut, um, Morrow, rather, Winterburn. Arsenal throw. Merson. Way by Whelan. This is Adams with Genchev. Smith, Whelan's header, it's right, oh, it caught a deflection, I think, corner, and Baker scrambling a bit down by the post, Ian right shot, but I imagine when you see it again, it catches an Ipswich foot somewhere here, yes, it's Johnny Walk, I think, corner to be taken by Merson, short tomorrow, Merson, second chance, here's Adams Wolf heads clear Davis good spell again for Arsenal
conversion. And that one tails off an Arsenal attack that had threatened to put them in front. Close thing that when Merson dribbled his way along the uh, goal line there and cut it back. Smith was close. You can see here, doesn't really take it out either. It was in play. Smith shot and Carter really had the best chance on the rebound. Smith. And Carter away from Johnson. And Walk away from danger. That's what they want Carter to do, is to get the other side of the defenders and whip the ball in. Arsenal digging deep into their resources here after a strenuous week on the attack with the score 1-1. Davis to take the corner. Baker comes to punch. And uh, Davis takes the throw to Carter. Williams for Ipswich. children in the front row there having a very good view of this match in an all-seater ground it's very much a signpost to the future as far as the Taylor reports concerned this stadium and Seaman a good 20 yards out there to Winterburn Dazelle Stockwell didn't quite get that touch right this is Winterburn and Wright flicks it on, looking for Smith, and Wright goes behind Smith. Good play by Arsenal, and Wright, who is looking for his 50th goal for Arsenal in what's only been 68 games. Look at the intelligence there. He played the first ball, but then found the space to get the return. He won't be pleased with the shot, but what can you say about a man who in the FA Cup this season has scored seven goals in the last three rounds? Some of Smith's touch play and target performance has been really good to watch here he is again making room for Carter perhaps it's Jimmy Carter Davis on the goal line in the middle with the goalkeeper half away and it fell conveniently for Ipswich to Johnson if it had fallen to an Arsenal player Ipswich might well have been behind there they were all over the place and they still are it's right oh it's going to be a penalty it's John Walk and he won't argue on Ian Wright and they never really recovered Ipswich from that desperate bit of defending a moment ago they were always on the receiving end here Wright's inside the box and Walk catches his ankles there is no doubt now then Arsenal have missed five penalties this season Ian Wright missed one at Norwich on Wednesday night but he's got the courage to try again and this time he scores his 50th goal for Arsenal in only 68 games his eighth in the FA Cup this season, and the goal that puts Arsenal in front in this sixth round tie in the 62nd minute. Right, the man brought down, right, the goal scorer from the spot. He didn't hang around, he put that ball down. Baker did ever so well to go the right way. He only missed it by the length of his arm, but right scores, and Arsenal lead by two goals to one. Genshev, now Ipswich now are being examined as to what they've got to offer in the way of character they might have <laughs> the chance to get Kiwamia away but uh, it's ever so funny that those two players were picked out as the pacemen of the day Kiwamia and Wright Kiwamia scored early Wright has scored now Arsenal have the edge this is Genshin taking on Andy Linegan Stockwell a great run through, this is Dizel! Oh, he put it too close to the goalkeeper. Dizel was in a great position and taking nothing away from Seaman. You honestly felt he should have got that past him. He got it down all right, but uh, the keeper saved well. Right had in mind there, was it? But uh, 
Arsenal protecting the lead that he gave them. That was Johnson. Smith. Good header. Oh, right through again. Oh, and Whelan tried to stop him, and it's got in. And Arsenal are 3 1 up, and I think Whelan may have got the touch there. Well, there's no question about it now. Arsenal are completely in charge. Whelan is chasing right back. And is it Whelan that gets the touch? It looks like an own goal to me. Poor old Phil Whelan that was stretching. And 72 minutes. Arsenal are two goals clear. Walk. Kiwamia looks for Goddard. It drove him a little bit wide. It's out. Oh, I thought it was. Well, looks like you've got a corner somehow. Stockwell. That's loose. Get it. Go. They've got one back. It's 3-2. sure that they knew it was a corner at first but it was quickly taken Stockwell gets the ball in it goes past Kiwamia it's Genchev the Bulgarian who kicks the shot through Lee Dixon's legs and off the post 77 minutes gone Genchev who scored a hat-trick against Grimsby in the last round and also got one at Tranmere earlier in the competition gives Ipswich renewed hope against Arsenal in the quarter-final offside it's 3-2. Well, it was a goal scorer's goal, this, wasn't it? Turned and shot, and got the advantage of the inside of the post. And on the Arsenal bench, Stuart Houston and George Graham might be feeling that their side have made it a tiny bit more difficult for themselves than they had to. Davis, Campbell, oh he's away here, Kevin Campbell, and that is the goal that puts Arsenal into the semi-final of the FA Cup, scored by Campbell the substitute to make it 4-2 in the last minute of the game, and really the header forward just caught it with short, and Campbell just took that away past Baker, his first goal since way back, I think three months since Campbell scored for the first team. And it will come as a great relief to Arsenal because they were hanging on a little bit there, but they've got a two-goal lead back again, and the Ipswich fans know it's all up now. Genshev, Winterburn. Derby in the Coca-Cola Cup at the beginning of December. Well, Arsenal's strength has told when it's mattered today. They were one down, they were 3-1 up, Ipswich got back to 3-2, but Adams and his men have just kept their morale high and they've dug a good result out here at the end of a very tiring week. There's no question about that. Stockwell. And I would imagine there are some happy faces around Highbury too just now where they're watching the relay of this game. Chest by Hillier. This is Merson. And Arsenal continue to attack Wembley on two fronts. Through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Tony Adams' goal cancelling out Ipswich's early lead. And then Arsenal taking the game over in the second half. Courtesy partly of Ian Wright. 
and Campbell got the last goal as it switched folded against a very determined Arsenal performance and a stirring cup tie for a capacity crowd here and those who watched in North London ends Ipswich Town 2, Arsenal 4. I want to say, George, what a good cup tie. Excellent game, uh, great, art, great art there really for uh, English football. Both end to end, um, lots of Gomez incidents, um, big crowd, great atmosphere. Good out there for football. First half performance, we were very pleased, you know, we thought we should have went in maybe ahead. But as I say, the second half, they were a lot better on us and probably deserved to win, yeah. Seem to get stronger and stronger, Arsenal, don't they, in games yeah, like that? Yeah, they're a very strong side, you know, we've got a lot of good international players, you know, and as I say, the, the longer the game we've got on, the better they got. Tony actually is excellent in the air in both boxes and... Uh, I've been getting on to him because he's not been scoring. Uh, that's his first goal this season. So really we should be scoring more goals from, uh, from other players, from set pieces, defenders, midfield players. We're probably relying too much on Ian Wright. And uh, it's time the other players accepted the challenge and the, the pressure that goes with it. And uh, they're weighing in with a few more goals. But scoring four goals away from home in a tremendous game, uh, it's nice. It's nice to get through to the semi-final.